After the spell, what happens next? Presented by LearnSpellCasting.org. Hi, this is Bella Easies, and this lesson will talk about what can you expect after you have cast a spell and the spell worked, it came true. So I'm using the after tarot tarot decks as a guide to sort of give you an idea of different influences and aspects that you can experience after a successful spell has worked. You can submit questions to me to be answered on this YouTube um, channel and under this series at learnspellcasting.org in the very front page you will see the form. Now this form is only to submit questions you may still have and I will answer them online right here in this channel under this category. However, if you have private questions, feel free to head over to learnspellcasting.org. So let's get started with today's lesson. Today's lesson is based on the chariot. The chariot is the seventh card in the tarot deck in the major arcana. And the keywords for this are onward and upward. It doesn't matter which direction you pick as long as you pick one and get moving. This card is about similar to the lover's card. If you haven't seen that yet, please go check it out. But this card is alluding to a difficult path to choose, even if it's initially inviting. It asks you to ask yourself, what is it you truly desire? How hard are you willing to work to get it? And whatever happens, just make the choice for yourself. It's a time to be in charge and make decisions that will shape your future. Choose wisely, then move forward with confidence, knowing that you are capable of making the journey journey, choices, recurring themes throughout the tarot and throughout spell work. Spell work is your soul making a baby and that baby is your desire birthing into this universe. It is so important for you to take charge of your life, to not leave it to chance, but live your life by choice. You might make some mistakes here and there, but understand it's a journey and a reflection of the state of mind you were in at a specific point in time. So what the heck does this do or have to do with after casting a spell, what happens next? Here's a little secret that most people don't understand. When you are casting a spell, especially in the context of making someone choose what you want them to choose. They still have a choice to make. You do not negate their choice, you influence it. You're not holding uh, uh, them hostage to doing what you want. They are still choosing to do what you want. Does that make sense? So when you cast a spell, after the spell is cast, you may want them to continue to make that same choice. So if you cast a spell on someone to be faithful to you and do what you say, then you want to manipulate, because that's the real word, them to continue to keep making that same choice. There's still work to be done after a spell is cast. There are still influences that may try to uproot, uproot the thing that you desire. So you have to be vigilant. And in this tarot card, I am telling you, fusing the, the meaning of the tarot card with spell casting and the aftermath of it, be vigilant and you keep making choices so that you always get what you want. Or if you change your mind, then you can change directions. The point is the chariot signifies motion. 
And it is a reminder that a spell should always be in motion and will not be stagnant. Stagnant things die. They don't have life. They can't move. So while you have life, while the person you're trying to influence has life, the life force alive, <laughs> the life force alive, the life force lit, okay? They must have the free will to choose and you must have the wisdom to choose as well. Be vigilant. Keep the thing going. Keep it in motion. Don't let it stagnate. There is not a one and done spell on earth. There is not. Listen, I'm going to give you a story. The person who initiated me gave me the spell which is a death spell and told me never to use it but they taught me how it's done and they gave me their experience they were commissioned to cast a spell to punish someone for a heinous crime and they did a ritual which should have been akin to what you see in the movies of zombification, voodoo spell. And it worked. But everything in their life, this is my initiator, went wrong for about three years after they did that spell and it worked, that they taught me. And then they warn me, never use it. Even if you think it is justified, this particular way of revenge is a no-no. Because you see, once you are out of this body, you do not cease to exist. You are in spirit. And that spirit was a mean-ass spirit. And that spirit for three years tormented my initiator until somebody, an elder, told my initiator, what have you done? You have unleashed vengeance upon yourself. You have unleashed crazy maniac, obsessive, compulsive spirit to harm you. So now you got to get a special ritual to help you live your life because they want to take you down to where they at because you put them there. You get my drift? So when you cast a spell, sometimes what you do cannot be undone. That kind of spell you can't undo, but you can mitigate. Yeah? You can correct a mistake you can protect most definitely so what I'm saying to you is when you cast a spell that you think is a one and done like a spell to remove someone from the earthly plane and I'm talking spiritual work people this isn't this isn't uh, like mundane stuff I want you to understand that you must be vigilant you must look both ways Sort of like a, you're at a traffic stop and you got to look both ways before you can move your automobile. You need to be aware. And you need to keep moving forward. You cannot stay stuck or rest on the laurels of a successful spell. The chariot is inviting you not only to make a choice, but to do something. Because it's about motion. So if your spell, after it's been cast, is not <sighs> moving along the way you want it to, you may have to do something to push it or to guide it in a different direction. That is the message for you today under the influence of the chariot card in the tarot deck for after you've cast a spell, what happens next? If you need to talk to me privately, 
head over to learnspellcasting.org slash contact us or look at the con click the contact us link in the menu. Till next time, this is Bella Isis wishing you a beautiful day.